Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey collectors, it's going to be Steven here rounding out the current releases for the Spy Family Figure Arts uh, reviews. And today we're going to be taking a look at the assassin of the family or the mama, the wife, your. I think everyone's favorite in some way, shape or form. I think Anya and your have been the favorite so far. You know, Lloyd. Sorry, buddy. But, uh, you know. Mama and the daughter. Anyway, for your, she is going to round out the current of the three releases that are on the market today. And I think we're going to be saving arguably the best for last. Anya, she's going to be pretty great as well. So let's take a look to see whether or not your is going to be worth adding into boom, tsh, your collection. All right. So sculpt and paint, I think overall your is rather rock solid and not a whole lot of bad stuff to talk about here, except for I could foresee that her dress, if it is kept in a extended pose for too long, you're going to see in the articulation section that it doesn't really hinder the articulation that much. Um, perhaps we may have some damage to it in the long run, but overall, there's no real big issue that I could see right now. Gold paint is just simply difficult regardless of the manufacturer. Uh, it's pretty much the same across the board. So there is a little chip in her headband, and I think I did that trying to swap out the faceplates, like holding the head and then trying to separate the front hair part. I think that's how I did it, but nevertheless, overall, the gold paint is applied really well for the roses or whatever sort of plant flower that is supposed to be, and then the thorns, and then for the eye decals across all the face plates, they look really good. There are two details, one that I sort of thought that I saw on the prototype and the promotional pictures, and then the other one I didn't pick up at all. The first one that I talked about is going to be the sort of rose gold nail polish. I didn't pick up on that at all, and then the other one... It's really, really hard to see, especially in these pictures, but in hand, it is very clear. They used a different skin tone spray all throughout the actual skin tone for your to differentiate muscles. Really nice. Your looks fantastic. Basically, all throughout, um, she doesn't really have any big issue, except... What color is Vegeta's hair? Is it brown or is it black? The trim on yours dress sort of has the same thing. For the source material, sometimes I see brown, sometimes I see black. So I'm just going to make mention of it here. It's black for the SH figure arts. I'm just making mention of it. I'm not slighting it one way or another. For your uh, Bandai actually did something a little cheeky with the shoulder articulation, which I think was actually pretty cool, and I wanted to try it right away. It's something small, but it's a real nice nod to female anime characters, and uh, I think we should talk about it real quick. So first and foremost, uh, we had something neat going on with Lloyd for his um, neck articulation, so do we have anything interesting going on with the wife and the mother of the Forger family? Well, as you can see here for faceplate removal, mm, pretty standard, straightforward. We're going to have a double axis barbell style joint, and you can see everything looks actually rather nice and clean. So everything is good there, especially if you are roughhousing the parts a bit. It'll hold up so she can look up about that far, look down about that far. And obviously, if for whatever reason she needed to, she can look directly behind her. Now, the neck is going to plug into the body as well on a ball joint. So, yeah, she can look down even more with the support of the neck that far and up about that far. So, <clears throat> for some female anime figures, just taking a look at the shoulders, they are mostly going to be just on ball joints, no big deal, so Yor can spin her arms around, and she can T-pose, and just because of the way that it's going to be sculpted, uh, there's going to be no sculpt part up here, so we can actually get that hinge to go above and beyond, and we can sort of get it to flip over, so this way she can really get her arm to raise up. It's a minimal feature, but something very interesting that the only action figure of Yor on the market can do...
get a small shoulder pop out. It just helps to increase the range of movement just a little bit, and it's not something that Tamashi Nations is really known for, but they included it. Hmm. Anyway, all right, so with that, we're also going to get just a little bit of a bicep swivel here. So that's cool. So you need that single hinge elbow with fantastic range of movement, showing that once again, it's not just having the joint, it's integrating it well enough. And then do we have any sort of swivel movement? Look at that. We do have a little bit of an elbow swivel, a little bit of a forearm swivel there too. Cool. So for the wrists, um, we are going to have your standard SH figure art styled wrist joint. So we are going to have a swivel where the wrist is going to be plugging in at the end of the forearm, then we're going to have a hinge, and then the hand is going to plug in on a ball joint. Ab crunch, ball joint, twist and turn and spin around, all good stuff there. Underneath her dress, you are going to be able to clearly see that we do have a ball joint for the waist, so we can twist and turn our legs at the pelvis and rock. And then as well, she can kick out. She is going to be using ball joints about that far forward and that far back. And then to the side, get her a neutral pose that far forward, that far back. You can clearly see no pull down style. It's kind of like a Y connection, but we do have a dedicated thigh swivel, which is good. Okay, single hinge knees, good. Do we have swivels? Yes, we do. Hinge with swivel connections and toe hinge. Just like Lloyd, your has correctly colored pinned toe hinges. Yours articulation is good. Feels natural. It's like an anime figure should. And then we do have the straps up here, which no issue. The thorns up here for the rose, no problem. No breaks. Yours good. All right. Now this is going to be Steven maybe two days after recording the articulation section, which doesn't really need any changes except for two things. Uh, one, we do have these straps on her dress. They do move up and down basically on swivels. As you move the arm, you may notice that the strap moves as well. By default, out of the box, they came up just like this. Didn't make mention of this, don't know why, um, but there's also the possibility that they may pop out. You can just pop them back in. Also of note, somebody made a comment in my Anya review that it looked like her legs were of different lengths, and that's just because of the gown, the dress, um, sort of being a bit difficult to navigate the hip and pelvis system. And that makes it difficult to adjust the legs and making it seem like one is longer than the other. So let's go ahead and create that illusion here. So it automatically sort of looks like because of how you are messing around, that sort of looks like your has one leg longer than the other. So sorry, your the way that she has her joint system set up, it could be that because of the split and the way that her uh, waist joint is set, you may have the waist joint sort of cocked to one angle and then the legs cocked to another. Basically, just fiddle around with the joints, pull one down, pull one up, readjust her here, readjust her there, and the legs will even out. So again, it's going to be like a ball joint, ball joint, ball joint on a wide connection, fiddle around with them, legs are even, and you will be fine. Accessories time, and what does she come with? She's going to come with four alternate face plates, two alternate sets of hands, and her knitting needles. All right, so what does your come with? She is going to come with, obviously you're seeing one happy face, so she has to come with another, a big old, big old smiling happy face. She's also gonna come with one sort of sad your face, which I mean, hey, you gotta have it. You're sometimes feeling really insecure. Then, um, yep, this face, she's shocked at whatever is off to her side. Another meme worthy face in the spy family lineup. And then of course, Thorn Princess. Gotta have it, especially with this particular getup. 
Now let's go ahead and look into some action shots after we take a look at her knitting needles, which are going to be gold, and then the handles of them, they're going to be a slightly darker gold. So now those action shots, and the big question is going to be, um, combined with the articulation, basically the world is your oyster, your world is your yours, 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 you see the play on words. Anyway, plenty of fun poses with the accessories that we get, plenty of fun scenarios, even as you saw by the opening picture. Yes, so we get a lot of neat accessories. Now the big question is, what else should she, what else could she come with? The big thing is basically just a support stand. So Yor does have those big heels, and I think, honestly, she can actually stand pretty well on her own, except a support stand would just be great to have, and especially since, you know, we have an anime waifu, uh, considering what else may be on the market com competition-wise, it would be nice to see an action figure support stand from Tamashii Nations thrown in as well, just so this way maybe there are going to be some newcomers to the SHF lineup, just to see exactly what Tamashii Nations is cooking, but nevertheless... Unless there's going to be something else scene specific with her in her battle dress, um, everything else is going to be when she's wearing her red sweater or another casual clothing item when she's making food with Anya, but she can't cook or going to school or whatever. So any other effect parts or stands, I mean, you're going to have to buy them. So I got videos to help you out. And here's going to be the entirety of the SHF Forger family together as it stands right now. So if you're going to look to get them together, you can get a good idea of how they will stand together on your shelf, along with some other figures you just might have. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. I think I want to do a quick recap here. Anya is great. Absolutely meme-worthy and exactly what the action figure community needed, more so specifically for photography, because, uh, yeah... Yeah, those faces, they're great. Lloyd, good, the weakest of the three, but quite frankly, they're all great. So that's not really saying too much in terms of it being bad. And then we have Yor. Of course, everyone wants Yor because she's just everyone's favorite current season anime mommy, and they love her, and she's actually a pretty solid action figure. The only critiques that I have to have for your here in particular are, again, uh, accessories rather somewhat light considering the price, but then again, what else could they add in? Not much. But what they did do is they flipped that and they added into paint and articulation. So I think it's an even trade-off. Your is a fantastic success, and I think all of the Spy Family figure arts are great releases, and for those who are maybe finding a lack of anime action figures on the market are going to be great to see that the sort of flavor of the month, if you will, uh, being tackled by Tamashii Nations is great to see here and that they did the property justice. Now we're going to have some more anime figures coming up. Uh, I think it's going to be in April that are outside of Bandai's realm of Dragon Ball or Sailor Moon. And uh, I can't wait to see what they have coming next. Hey collectors, that's going to wrap up the video today, and as always, thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, subbing, it all helps. I always enjoy responding to comments, so be sure to drop one down below and I will respond if I can. I do have supporters on Patreon as well, and each review gets an end card to show who is supporting each month, so here are the end cards. Camera batteries, SD cards, even hard drives, it's not possible without that support, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Here's the final end card, so this way you can click subscribe, check out another video, or even check out the social media outlets. You know you want to. Before we end today, as in the description, there may be paid ad space, affiliate links, or product samples that were sent out in this video, so please check out the STR ad disclosure. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch ya in the next video.